morning family this is Ibora Ashe I woke up like it literally <laughs> well I woke up with kind of this crazy dream and in this dream it just it was too crazy no I, I, well I won't say it was too crazy to be real because it happens to some of us on a normal basis and what I want to speak on is the reason why I feel so strongly about being a part of Black Women's Defense League. So I myself have been, I will never say a victim, okay, but I have been abused myself in different lines of the way you can think of rape, uh, physical abuse, mental, um, spiritual even. Um, and I would definitely say they have all been by our brother. And um, in different aspects, actually one was a stranger, it's been a few incidents, I won't go into detail that much about it at the moment, one day I will. Um, the thing is, is that I still, at the end of the day, after all of this, feel as though it is a deeper, 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 deeper issue in our community that we are willing to speak of as a whole. Um, being things happening in our family, in our community that we say, oh, don't talk about that. We keep that in, in house and we won't let the white man know that this is the case or if a situation happens, you don't call the pigs because you know we don't fuck with them fuck the pigs but you say don't involve the pigs but a motherfucker that's supposed to be there and fight for you is the motherfucker that's doing it hmm if that is the case then what do we do what do you expect us to do if that is the case you tell me because to me, at that point, you're no longer my brother. You have opted out to be my brother. So, therefore, whatever lines that I have to take to protect myself and another sister, it will be taken. Trust and believe. So, I say this to say this. This problem will never be fixed until we address the mentality of the situation, the sickness in our community, the the quiet secretness in our community. You got a uncle in the family that done raped everybody in the goddamn family down from the sisters to the aunties and this motherfucker still at the family reunions and shit and you got to tell your baby oh don't go over there to him and hug him. Rather than y'all ban this motherfucker or fuck his ass up or whatever the case is that you choose to do you just allow it to be there in the presence of your baby Okay. Or the case of the matter is this quote unquote, for lack of a better word, conscious community. You got brothers out here talking about fight for the people. The black woman is God, but you abusing the queen. You you abusing God. What are we supposed to do with that? Black people, the answer is to stand up against any oppressor, no matter the fucking color of the skin. Because once you have done those things, you have opted out of their skin. Unless you have chose to get help. And that is very acceptable. And that is the only way that it's going to stop. Is to get mental help. Is to truly get help. And for me, if any of my statements would have, honestly, if they had went and got help, I would be just fine. I would be okay with that. I really would. Because at the end of the day, brothers need help too. Not just us as brothers too. Not only are we being beat, but I believe that they're being beat way more than we are. In a different way. Let me say that. In a different way. They're being beat more than more by society as a black man. You know what I mean? And that in no way says that I accept the shit that they do. Hell no. That's not the case at all. 
But I do understand that that is what they're dealing with. And so, therefore, there needs to be classes. There needs to be things in place for the brothers to go say, hey, okay, I done dealt with this motherfucker all day. He done treated me like a slave. Now I got to go home where we ain't barely got no money. We got the kids hollering, yelling. The wife might not have a job or have a job. Then she has come back from being programmed again. It's just, it's just a vicious cycle. And so we separately have to get help and together have to get help. We have to learn how to have a positive relationship. We don't even know how to have a relationship that would seem normal to another person who is not living in the warfare every day of their lives. And my question is, again, what are you willing to do, people? I have taken a stand for my people, for my sisters, for my brother, for our youth. What are you willing to do? We call you a Black Women's Defense League or any other, other grassroots, community-based organization that are really doing the work for the people, we call you to take a stand. Will you?